Hey everyone, this is Riyadi. A new update has been rolled out. Dynamic Hash tab is functional now. This can select hash next dynamically as per the settings set by you. This dynamic hitch is only applicable on the cell legs as you can see that I have made a short straddle portfolio wherein two legs are there, one is CE cell and PE cell. So this dynamic hitch is only applicable on the cell legs. This setting will only be applicable to the legs where hedge required is ticked. As you can see that I have ticked marked the cell legs of the shortest straddle portfolio. Now here, after setting this hedge required, now you can set a dynamic hedge setting by clicking on this uh, tab, which will be used to select the hedge legs for those legs. Before I explain you about these two fields of the dynamic hedge, one is a mandatory field, another is optional field. Few crucial points you should keep a note of it. When execution of these two main legs starts the system, will find the hedge as per the setting and it will add an appropriate buy leg for the hedging. And if you specify wait and trade, as you can see that uh, here is the wait and trade button. So if you specify wait and trade, then please note that hedge will be bought only when leg hits for the execution. If the portfolio is under execution mode, then Hedge legs will not be bought. So in short, if you have a specified wait and wait, then please note that hedge will be bought only when leg hits for the execution mode. Any hedge bots will be squared off with the portfolio squared off. Please take a note of it. And if you define any re-entry or re-execution action on the main leg stop loss and target. See, this is re-entry and re-execution, uh, which you can define it on target or on a stop loss of the individual legs, then no hedge will be bought because uh, that doesn't make any sense, right? Because the main leg already has an hedge. So in short, no hedge will be bought in case of re-entry and re-execute, okay? Guys, set this dynamic hedge uh, field very wisely as, this, as any invalid setting will fail hedge selection, okay? If all main legs get completed, then system will square off all pending hedge legs as well, okay? Now, let us understand about the two fields of the dynamic hedge. One is mandatory field, another is optional field, right? So, there are two buttons of the hedge distance under this uh, field that is mandatory field. One is minimum hedge distance, another is maximum hedge distance. Minimum hedge distance with this button, you can set the minimum distance from the ATM for hedge leg, okay? And with this button, that is maximum hedge distance, here you can set maximum distance from the ATM for the hedge legs, okay? Now, I'll take you to the Excel sheet to make you understand this in a better and a comprehensible manner, okay? So, suppose you are entering a minimum hedge distance as 15 and maximum you are setting it as let's say 40 okay now i'll take you to the excel sheet so this is the mandatory field let's suppose that atm uh, nifty atm is 17800 and we have set the minimum distance as 50 and maximum distance as 40 okay so minimum distance which i have set as uh, 50 then system will start checking for the ce hedge after 18550 how this is the minimum hedge distance multiplied by the lot size. So, lot size is 50 for the Nifty, right? So, 15 is the minimum hedge distance into 50 is equals to 750. So, 750 you have to add in this uh, ATM. So, 17,800 plus 750 comes out to be 18,550. Now, let's talk about the maximum hedge distance. So, here I have specified as 40. So, 40 into the lot size that is 50 is equals to 2000. So, 17,800 plus 2000 comes out to be 18,800, right? So, that means minimum uh, is this 18,550 and maximum is 19,800. So, back in so we'll start checking CE hedge after 18,550 is try till 19,800. Okay, so this is how it will select the CE hedge. Now, how about uh, this uh, PE hedge? Suppose your uh, Nifty ATM is 17,800, okay, and maximum distance you have set as uh, 40, and uh, minimum you have set as 
15. Then system will check for the best match. Uh, let's say 15 into 50 is equal to 750. Now this time because it's a PE leg, right? So 17,800 minus 750. Here it was plus for the CE and for the PE it is minus 750. Comes out to be 17,050. Okay, and for the maximum, 40 into 50 is equal to 2000, and 17,800 minus 2000 comes out to be 15,800. So, back in so we will start checking PEH after this level that is 17,050 is right, till 15,800 for the PE leg. This is for the PE and this is for the CE. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, the third field is maximum premium. Here, you can set the maximum premium for any hedge. Uh, for example, you can set here as, let's say, 5 or 10. It's up to you, right? So, for this case, I'm entering it as 5. Okay. Now, the fourth field is unsatisfied condition condition. Set this very wisely as if system is unable to find the proper hedge as per the set conditions by you it may stop execution of the portfolio so from here you can choose whether you want to ignore the field or you want to stop the portfolio okay so this was about the man mandatory field now next field is optional field it has two buttons one is maximum cepe spread and another is strike step this is not functional now max bid and ask spread max bid and ask uh, is not functional okay so max ce and pe spread with this button you can set maximum distance between ce and pe hedge this will be applicable when ce and pe both go into the execution at the same time if you have applied any weight and trade on any many legs then this maximum ce and pe spread will hold no importance as such because this will be applicable only when CE and PE both go into execution at the same time. So, let's say you have set maximum CE, PE spread as 1, okay? And this is completely optional P. Then, if CE had selected as, let's say, 1.15, uh, uh, okay? Then, then, it will try to find PE between 0.15 to 2.15, that means if this is set, the system will try to find the hedges within the mentioned range. And if it is unable to find within the mentioned range, then it will proceed to the nearest one. Okay. Now, next uh, button is a strike step because this is not functional yet in the back end zone. So, another button is a strike step. Here you can set the strike step for the head selection. Suppose uh, you want or any user want to find the hedge only on the 100 strikes for nifty then you can just mention 100 here okay and if you want to use only 500 uh, strikes for the hedge then mention 500 here so th then in that case you can just tick mark this uh, that is select only 500 strikes for nifty and man nifty okay now with this condition, minimum hedge distance as 15 and maximum set as 40, maximum premium I've set as 5, I'm saving this portfolio with the name dynamic, okay? And please note that this suggest leg, this suggest leg is only for the reference purpose. After setting all the hedge settings, you can click on this button to see the expected hedges, which might have been bought by the system if the portfolio was in the execution at that current moment of the time. This is only for the reference purpose and this will show hedges for the current time only. However, actual hedges can be changed at actual execution time depending upon the conditions at that time. So, for the these two main legs, the hedges are 17,950 uh, and for this uh, PE, it is 16,100, okay? So, this is as per the suggested legs. Now, I'll save this portfolio with the name Dynamic and my portfolio is saved. Now, I'll uh, enable it. I'll recalibrate it. I'll run it over simulator. I'll choose 6th February 2023 as uh, my date of simulation and I'll play. Just use this to expand the portfolio. So, as you can see that... Uh, 
find out the appropriate hedge for your cell legs. So this is how it is. I hope you found this video informative. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.